Hey guys, hope you're having an awesome day. Today we're going to be trying out a brand new foundation. This is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Found Sealer, which is a multitasking foundation. Literally, that is all this packaging says about this product. I have no idea about its claims. I just saw it new when I went into Sephora yesterday. I paid 51 Canadian dollars for this, and you do get the full fluid ounce, which is very typical for a foundation. It is cruelty free and vegan for those of you who are wondering. I think probably Tarte as a brand would be. I noticed that this product only has a six month shelf life so I thought that was kind of interesting. Most foundations last for about a year so for something to last only about six months I mean maybe that is more typical than I'm thinking but probably there are a lot of natural ingredients in this that would go bad faster. It does say on the side hashtag plant powered. So here is what the bottle looks like. It is definitely plastic and the top is one of those like twist up tops which will reveal a pump which is nice. Again there is literally no information on this packaging so I'm gonna have to pull up the product on the Sephora app and read some claims to you guys. I just have to say the name of this foundation, the Found Sealer, is just so lame to me. It just like reminds me of like when people try and smush their names together to be like Benefer. Mm, it just is cringy to me, but whatever. So this foundation comes in 30 shades, or at least on the Sephora website. It seems to have a variety of undertones, including golden, neutral, cool, beige, tan, peach. The shade range itself isn't like the worst thing I've ever seen, but there are like a ton of like light and light medium shades and then obviously just that last row would be anywhere near a deep skin tone. But you can see there the swatching, at least there are some options. Medium coverage, radiant finish, liquid formula, and is good for all skin types. The name of the foundation on here is actually Babasu Found Sealer Skin Care Foundation, which is not specified on the actual packaging, but I guess Babasu is a plant. Not totally sure on that one. I have oily skin, not so much right now. In the winter, it's not as bad, but I do tend to get pretty shiny throughout the day. And there are tons of foundations that are really meant for a drier skin type, such as the Stellar Limitless Foundation. That one's really dewy, glowy, yet it really works on my skin. So I try not to totally eliminate foundations that claim to be like hydrating and skin carry. So let's put this on my face. I got the shade Fair Sand 14S. Seems to have a more yellowy, warmer undertone. I think this will be actually pretty good for my skin. A very smooth formula, I would say probably a little thicker than what I'm used to. I tend to gravitate towards a more watery formula, but so I'm just going to apply this side with a sponge. This is like an elf sponge, I think. It doesn't really have much of I knew I was missing something. Okay, so I have it on this side of my face with the sponge, nothing over here, and I think it looks really, really nice and natural and glowy. It does feel very hydrating and it's definitely not drying anytime soon, so I hope that it does set down because I don't like to feel like I have foundation on a low medium coverage it's just kind of evening things out still some redness and scars and freckles coming through for sure so I just pumped out a another pump on my hand so you can see the difference between the new pump and then where I had some leftover on my hand so it certainly is oxidizing a little bit darker and a little bit more peachy golden than when it first comes out so just keep that in mind when you're picking out a shade I'm applying the other side with a brush You know what, I actually prefer the side with a brush. For some reason, it actually smoothed out a little bit better. Like my pores are definitely more blurred on the brush side. And I think it allowed me to actually spread out the product better, which by the way, it did blend very, very easily, even more so with a brush. Looks very, very, very natural. You may not really be able to tell, but 
this side my pores do look much smoother than the side with the sponge but overall both sides look good it reminds me a lot of the Stila Stay All Day foundation in the way that it applies, the consistency, and how it looks. However, the Stila Stay All Day one does dry down pretty matte and controls my oil very well, which this one, I don't know guys, like I probably applied this right side of my face like over 10 minutes ago now and it's still like not even close to drying down. Feels very transfery, feels just like it's gonna wipe right off to be honest. And I almost like don't wanna powder it because I feel like it's such a thick and creamy consistency that if I put powder on top, it's just gonna get really cakey and oh, I don't know. I think if you had like uber dry skin and you like the feeling of like constant moisture on your face you might actually be so obsessed with this feeling but for me I prefer something more lightweight and drier to the touch so I'm gonna give this like a few more minutes just to like see if it dries down at all before I put like blush or anything else on top of it so while we wait I just want to show you guys I finally got my silver play button in the mail I'm so 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 excited thank you guys for getting me to 100,000 subscribers I am literally so 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 happy and so excited and so proud Let's put a little concealer on while we're waiting too. I also picked up the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is something that I've definitely tried and owned before, but I just haven't bought in a really long time. I got the shade Fair Warm. I actually am so, so, so in love with the Naked Skin Foundation from Urban Decay, but it breaks me out, so I really can't wear it. Although this concealer seems to be fine with my skin. All right, it's been over 15 minutes since I put the foundation on and it is still feeling, hmm, not like tacky, but like creamy and transfery. So I'm just gonna put on my blush and hope for the best. I've been really loving these stellar blushes. I have two of the shades. This one is the shade Beam which is just like a really pretty like hot pink and has really nice glow to it. So I'm just using a Sigma stipple brush to apply. I mean, at least the blush doesn't look too patchy, like maybe a tiny bit, but it didn't like, you know, move around my foundation or take off the foundation. No, I still feel like you would need to powder this if you want it to be like you know, actually soft to the touch and not like any kind of tacky, but, but anyway, I'm going to keep wearing it without a powder because I just want to test it. Maybe it will dry down eventually. So I will check back in with you guys in a few hours to show you how it's holding up. Guys, so I've been wearing the foundation for almost five hours now. I just had to change my shirt because I was getting a little chilly, but let's look at the foundation. I haven't really looked at it close up yet. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. However, I am noticing that the foundation is settling into my fine lines. So I've got kind of a little wrinkle here as well as my smile lines. Not really, really bad, but I'll see if you can see there. Like there just is some gathering happening. It didn't get too like greasy and slidey under my glasses, which is very impressive just because like I do have oily skin and usually I mean, no matter what kind of skin type you have, usually, you know, the foundation can get pretty nasty underneath the glasses, but it actually doesn't look too bad. My nose isn't looking great. If I can get close enough here. I find that the foundation is like sinking in my pores a little bit, but other than that, like the foundation really has stayed on pretty nicely. You know, it's kept my blush on. I would say that my nose is starting to get a little bit shiny. I don't hate it, but I just don't think that this is like, really for me and also probably just not for people with oily skin. I mean, should have just realized that when I was buying it, just considering like how hydrating it was supposed to be, but but I don't know. I just, I wanted to try it anyway. Okay guys, this foundation has been on for over eight hours and I'm about to lose sunlight, so let's take a look. And I feel like the same about it. I feel like it stayed on decently well, especially considering the really thick, creamy consistency that it had. You know, it held on my blush good. 
you know, it didn't look cakey. It did not cling to any dry parts of my face. So I do think that if you have really dry skin and you're looking for something that stays moisturizing all day instead of something that, you know, says it's going to be really moisturizing and then like halfway through the day it just like dries up super matte. Like I think this one actually stayed hydrated on my skin. A little bit of transfery on me and... Like I said, it sunk into my lines and sunk into my pores a little bit. It has a really nice, like, dewy, natural finish with, you know, pretty medium coverage. Pretty skin-like. It doesn't look cakey. Anyway, long story short, it's not a bad foundation. It actually looked and performed pretty good, but it's just not, like, the perfect match for, like, me. So if you tend to like foundations that I like, I would just skip this one. And that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next one. Bye!